All right, hey y'all, I am calling it. This is gonna be my 12 pans finale. I had considered running this another week, maybe a few more days, because I have one product that's like hanging on. I swear it's on its last leg. And I thought if I gave myself a couple more days, I might be able to finish it. But then I thought, well, who the hell knows? I really don't know. So I'm just gonna sit down, film the video. If I happen to finish it before this video goes live, I'll pop a photo in. Hopefully there will be one. And honestly, the other products that I have left, I mean, there's not a snowball's chance in hell that I'm gonna finish those things by the end of the year, so I figure let's just call it. Today is Christmas Eve too, so it is kind of fitting. My family's like on their way over. I just got out of church, but I had like this small little time frame to film, and damn it, I am a YouTuber, and it doesn't matter. Holidays, family events, birthdays, mm -mm, I am going to film. So I guess let me run through the products that I've finished up since my last update. The one I'm probably most proud of is the Dior Lip Maximizer because I didn't know. I knew I was going to be close to the finish line, um, but I didn't know if I was going to be able to finish it. And this lasted a lot longer than I ever anticipated. Um, that was my intro. It was essentially full. Um, and then that was first update and now it's gone. There is a tiny little bit clinging to the sides down in the bottom, but I will not pop stoppers out of glosses. It is just the stickiest, messiest mess. Ugh, I hate it. Um, I will pop them out of concealers because they're not sticky and goopy like glosses are. I will not do it again. And so I consider that I got more than my money's worth out of it. $33.00. I wouldn't repurchase it even if it was cruelty free. Then I did finish up my replacement perfume. I had finished up a scent in my first update and so I wanted to add another one in because I know I can breeze through perfumes easy. And I did have two bottles of this. This is the Juicy Couture Couture La La, I believe. The line that you can't really see is where I put this product in at and then that was the first update and then it was gone. It was like a couple of weeks max. I'm telling you, I breeze through perfumes. And then you may kind of remember remember this powder from my last update video, I kind of stuck a little note in there in editing because the day that I filmed that last update, I decided to repress it like that night and I totally ruined it. It's totally ruined, cannot use it. And so I called it done and when I was editing that last update video, I stuck a little note in there. I mean, it, it's completely done for, hard panned. It's a teeny little thin layer anyways. I don't care enough about it to try to repress it again. I mean, it is like, it is solid as a rock. There was only a teeny little bit left of it in the corners. It's a cheap powder to begin with. I have plenty more powders to get through, so I am calling it done with this one. And now I'm just gonna briefly run through what I had already used up. Um, a sample deluxe size of the Makeup Forever Step One Smoothing Primer. A Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick in the shade Golden Pink. One of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Correctors in the Peach shade a Bath & Body Works Body Mist in A Thousand Wishes, and finally one of the CO Bigelow Chapped Hands Remedy Hand Cream. Oh, and I nearly forgot, I had the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana bronzer that I was using as a highlighter. And my goal was to just hit pan on it, which I did. And I had continued to use it a little bit, and then I did this big makeup declutter, and I just kept looking at it, and I just, I just didn't need it. I didn't, so I decluttered it. I had the uh, Laura Geller French Vanilla Highlighter that is nearly identical to it, and I just didn't see at any point in having both those products. It was taking up, that pan is so massive. It takes up so much room in my makeup collection. I just didn't see, even though I very much enjoyed it, I think it's a great product, I just didn't see the point in having this extra product that I really didn't need. So I did decide to go ahead and declutter it. So I don't have it here to show y'all, but I do have some progress pictures that I took before I decluttered it. I do think that was a good idea for me to do. I didn't need it and I honestly, I really don't miss it, but I do think it was a good product. So that means there are nine products out of my life. Eight of them I used up and then the one I decluttered. So I guess in that sense it was successful, but for me, I'm just, you know, I'm kind of a perfectionist. I like to complete everything. So there are four products that I'm still working on and I'm going to continue to work on probably in my first project pan of the year. Um, I'll probably throw these in here and try to use them up. First one, Clinique Acne Solutions BB Cream in the shade Light. This is the one that's like hanging on by a thread. I can tell there's like nothing left in there. I can't hear it, I can't feel it. Like, seems like there's no product left in there, but every time I use it, more comes out, and so it's not done yet. So I drew the shittiest progress line ever on this product, but this is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. 
if I had been baking as much as I have the last month, if I had been doing that, this whole challenge, this would be gone. But I didn't know. I didn't know. That is my intro right up there. Can you see that? And then that's the first update. And then this is where I am now. And that is from baking. I was not baking at that first update. And that's why I didn't use, I mean, that's just like regular setting your under eye, which is fine. But that would have took me like a damn year to use this up. And so I've been baking a lot more to try to get, honestly, just use it up. Um, I actually do like it for baking. I never liked it to just set my under eye, but when I bake with it, I actually enjoy it. So I'm very glad that I found a way to use this product. So I just have like the tiniest little bit hanging out in the bottom there. I mean, maybe it's like five more uses or something like that and it'll be gone. So again, this is something I'll probably throw into my very first project pan of the year. And then the Bite Beauty Matte Lip Pencil in Pastille. Honestly, there's no point in even showing you the progress. Here is the intro mark right there and then first update. And then from this update, I can't even mark it again. I did use it, I think, once since then. And so it did drop just a hair underneath that first update line. But there's really no point in even marking it. So in a sense, yes, I did get some use out of it, maybe a little bit more than if I hadn't put it in this project pan, but I know better than to do this. I don't know why I did. Um, I, I focus on one lip product at a time when I'm panning. Now, if I would have had more time, then I would have been able to finish up this Dior one and really put some work in on this one, but I didn't. It took me nearly the entire project to finish this up. But I do know that after the first of the year, I will probably put this into a project pan and I'll use it up, or at least get some really good work in on it. I'll probably put it in my January project pan because I love this color so much for the winter. And then we only have one product left. It's Pink Mauve from my Lorac Pro Matte Palette. And I thought, I really did think that I had a great chance of finishing this up but I didn't. I made some great progress on it. It is almost gone now. Probably a couple more weeks it will be gone, um, but it just wasn't enough time for me. So hopefully you can see here, I just have this one side over here, this little strip left. In the beginning I had pan probably about the size of what's in burgundy, just like a little circle of pan right in the center, and I just worked my way around. Um, if this had been like an all over base setting color or something like that, I probably could have used it up. But the fact that this is a crease color for me, I mean there's only so much you can do with that. I buffed it into the crease and I've used it on the lower lash line and what else can you really do with it? And I was able to make some great progress on some other shades in here. I expanded the pan in pretty much everything, maybe not the black, um, but I was using chocolate every single day for my eyebrows and so I did hit side pan on there. Um, so yeah, because I put this in a project pan, I was using the other shadows. All right, y'all, I can hear some of my family members getting here. So I probably need to go downstairs and be sociable and not just hold myself up in my room filming YouTube videos all day. Anyways, I really hoped y'all enjoyed this 12 Pants collab. I had so much fun collabing with these girls. And I know y'all don't see this. This is all behind the scenes. Um, but we have like this massive email chain. And at least a couple of times a week, I would hear from one of these girls. We'd be communicating back and forth. Um, video ideas, collabs, just just shooting the shit, how's your day, stuff like that. And I'm really gonna miss that, and I'm really sad for that to end. And I do hope maybe it won't end, maybe we can still keep up that, that conversation because it's something I really enjoyed, getting to know these other content creators. And I mean, I've said it before, I don't have a ton of friends in real life. I've never been like a big group of friends person. I've always been like a one best friend person. Um, unfortunately now my best friend is married and has two kids and lives like an hour and a half away from me. And so we just live very different lives. I'm like single in the city, no kid. You know what I mean? We live very different lives. And so I don't have someone to just shoot the shit with again every single day. And so I really enjoyed just this collab coming together and talking to other content creators. And I'm um, very grateful for everyone that joined in. I had a blast and I'm sad to see it end. If you haven't checked the other girls out, I will of course leave them all their channels linked in the description box. But then I do have this playlist up there with everyone's update intros, updates. It's all chronological order if you wanna go check it out. It's hours of panning enjoyment. Anyways, I know I'll shut up. I'm being all mushy, but I am very grateful. And I'm very grateful for y'all for watching this video or watching any other videos you choose to watch of mine. I appreciate every single view. I truly do. I hope y'all are having an absolutely wonderful holiday with your families and friends, and I'll see y'all in a couple of days in my next video. Love y'all. Bye.